guys, so today I'm here and I'm going to be showing you guys some of the other things that I recently got from Sephora and such and I wanted to kind of share, hop on here and show. Alright, so I did keep some of the boxes for this stuff here. First things is the Satan Center Palette by Kat Von D. Here is the box here. I do like to try to keep these. I know you guys like to see them. Here is the back. Shows you all the shades. Guys, it's so gorgeous. I've used this several times since buying it. Um, I know I talked about doing a first impression, so I'm so sorry. But I literally couldn't wait to do it. And so far, I absolutely love this. And as you open the palette, this is what it looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm trying not to blind you, but there's mirrors on both of them. And this is kind of like a cathedral. Um, this is the saint side. This is the center. And I know some people say that they're looking at this and they're feeling overwhelmed. But honestly, like, when I look at this, like... Here's a more neutral, here's a more bright. I don't know, I, I don't feel overwhelmed at all. I feel very inspired to use this. I think it's absolutely stunning. I've created several different looks. I did a smoky eye the other day. The other day I did a really pretty bright eye, which I'm gonna do um, on my channel because I wanna show you guys how it came out because I was actually like, I was proud of it. I was like, that's, that's a good eye. Um, I used some of like this like green here and this blue and I did it, it was really bright. Oh. I won't talk about it. I'll just do a video on it. It was really beautiful, though. Um, did, like, a nice smoky. I used a little bit of Sabbath, um, Cathedral, Heaven, Absolution. Did, like, that whole look. But I, I've used from both ends here, and I think this palette is absolutely stunning. If you can get your hands on this, honestly, I would highly recommend this palette. All right, next up was something I was so, so excited. It was the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. This is what the box looks like. It's a very pretty box. Very pretty. It's like pink and purple. Here's the outside of the packaging. It is so stunning. Oh, it's so pretty and like reflective. And then when you open it, it does have a huge mirror. And it has this really cool like card. You can see it probably better in the mirror. Where it's like the eyes. So cute. And then here are the shadows. So beautiful. I have yet to use these yet. Oh, I can't wait. So if I use this, this would be a first impression. I've like swatched a little bit, but I have never put any in my eyes yet. I can't wait when I look at it. Again, this is something so inspired. And the Satan Center and then the like the Desert Dust are both so different where I feel like they're not the same at all, where I can get such different looks. So, so beautiful. Can't wait. We'll be doing a video on this. I don't know if I want to do a video. I'm filming today. I don't know if I want to use the Huda Beauty or if I want to use the Satan Center. Not sure. I did get that um, lip kit in the oh, this, oh the silver fox. I did take it all out, but this is what the tin looked like for that one. And this was the original one. So now I got two really cute tins, but I just kind of put the silver fox one, which is like this shade here, and the strobing things that went with it, all in this thing. And I took the insert out, so then I can keep all my Huda lippies all in one place. I was in a mood, but I didn't want any more tins. I wanted to get the Huda Beauty lip contour set. And, which one's this one? Oh, this one's in Trendsetter and Bombshell. So beautiful. You get two uh, liquid lippies, which I do not have these shades. And another one, which, these are really bomb lip liners. And this one's like more of a nude shade here. The packaging on this is absolutely stunning. It's like that soft matte packaging. I absolutely love that. To me, that just like really screams like high-end really nice but I'm gonna take and put all these as well in my tint so I got all my little Huda Beauty lips in there so far that's one of the best liquid matte formulas I have ever tried so Huda Beauty you sold me on your liquid matte sets I love them last but not least here I just bought these with points um it was a Kat Von D Beauty Addiction Volume 2 so cute guys and it's just some goodies here which I was really pumped to try a lot of this out it was the Kat Von D, you get a Saint and Sinner um, perfume samples, which I wouldn't mind trying out. I love getting samples like this, so I know if it works for me, if it smells good, or if it's worth it. And then something I was really pumped is one of the tattoo liners in Trooper. I've always wanted to try this, and I figured it's the perfect, perfect way to try it. Why not? And this is really cute to say Kat Von D little mirror. I'm always randomly trying to grab palettes sometimes, and it's in the way, and I feel like this would be perfect for when I'm doing tutorials and stuff. I can just use this, grab it, and go. So, really, really pumped actually about that. Such a silly thing, but... And then, 
I'm gonna Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks and it's in Nasferatu. So pretty. It's like that perfect holiday red. I will be using this up and then I'll be able to see if I like her liquid matte formula. So and it's the mini of the Kat Von D setting powder, which I'm actually really pumped to get this because so far I've been using her like the bigger size, like the $15 one, like crazy, and I've really liked it. So super pumped that I got that. Pick up a Stila um like waterproof liquid liner. It's a mini, it came free with stuff. I like to be able to try stuff like that. And it's just a stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner. Looks like this. And so far I've really liked this. I used this the other day and I had like a perfect line. And that never happens to me. I was having such a good wing day and that never happens. So I will keep you guys updated on all this. But yeah that was just my little haul. I'm not sure like really thinking now on which video I want to do. I guess you guys will find out and whichever one you do see end up seeing coming up shortly then you'll know the other palette would be due for a tutorial next. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe and let me know down below if there's you know new things that you guys would like to see me do and try out. Uh, so definitely let me know. I right, thank you guys so much. Bye.